Good morning, wives and shifters. Good afternoon or good evening. Whenever you watch this video, I have a great, great video for you guys today. Let's talk about it right after this. No, no, no. shifters i have something very important for you guys if you guys are planning on starting a garden this year i have a great place to start and that is what's going to be holding your um your plants now a lot of people um either have backyards or they live in the apartment in my case i live in the condo which i put on switching that because as a prepper being in the overpopulated area sometimes can be you know the things that would hit the fan. Um, so now you can you have many many options, right? But what I like to tell people is that if you are able to get uh, flower pots that has bases, I don't know if you guys can see it. This one has a little base where when you water your plant after you put your soil, mixed soil in here you water your plant this serve has a self um watering pot and, and of course the other ones has it too so i have i bought some different um sizes and home capacity and this is another one and only you guys can see the base like a two inch base where the water will um go down and of course gravity doing its work and the water will be held at the base and you can even see with this one has a base too and and also here you can um pour your water so you don't have to pour it on top and disturb if you're uh, if you have new seed seeds plant and you don't want to just disturb the bed um of course you can uh, pour a little bit on top if you have new seeds right but once your plants start growing that base will be very helpful because um, what, you, what you're doing is basically, if you don't have time to water, you can pour water down here and of course the roots will move down, downward to be able to um, get that water for the plant to feed itself. So if you start in a new garden, there should be no excuses, whether you live in an apartment, a condo, or you have a house with a yard, start growing your own food. It's very important. And the thing is, is that, once you start growing your own food, you see how valuable, how important it is, life is overall. And selecting your food and knowing what goes in your body makes a huge difference. And you probably hear the saying that you are what you eat. So if you're planting and growing your own food and you know uh, that food that you plant, it's not processed because or genetically modified in a lab somewhere and grown somewhere, and over fertilize with whatever chemical and whatever. At least you know what you're eating and and uh, you know, just the knowing that you grew it. So now you might ask ease, where can I get these? So to save money, um, I went to DD's discount and also you can check out Ross. Those were my two first uh, places I checked because sometimes they have these in the um, hardware or uh, uh, kitchen area sometimes and we just start there first and if you don't have those stores in your area um i'll definitely say check out home, home depot or lowe's uh, or a hardware um hardware store and sometimes they have these pots now it's very important that you decide well to make a decision well i made a decision to go with the plastic containers instead of ceramic, ceramic or uh, clay potting because I didn't want to worry about knocking these over and breaking them. Ceramic and clay, they are fragile. And I went with these, of course, they're BPA free and they're made just to grow your plant. And this brand itself, I'm not getting paid by them, but this brand itself is pretty cool because um, it's called Plant SPA and um and up, as you can see the illustration on here it's easy to grow as I was explaining earlier 
very important that you go with something that you you able to handle because for me um i want to be able to have worry-free pots that i can grow my plant in and only that plastic lasts a bit longer and of course if you say well the environment uh, reuse them reuse them recycle them no problem um so i just wanted to share that with you guys because 2022 have to start making changes with your eating and one of the ways that i'm doing that is by growing my own plants and what i plan on growing for my first um uh group of crops is herbs and i'm getting ready to order the um the encyclopedia of um, herbs and you can see it right here check this out right here um of different herbs and for medes um holistic medicine and I'm starting to get into that because I'm from the island. I'm from the island of Haiti, so I'm familiar with different herbs and and how they are grown and what they use use for. And hopefully, if you stick around in this channel, I'll definitely share that information with you guys. And I even take you on the journey how to start growing your own herbs and also potentially other um, plants such as pepper, um, uh, beans, and everything like that. So that way, you can substitute buying canned goods that could be good or bad for your health and also uh different you know different different plants you can grow around the house that definitely be a beneficial to you and you can save money if you like that kind of things please stick around remember this is why the shift where we focus on the mind body and soul for a better life and part of that is well uh wellness we're gonna start with that this year thank you for watching this video if you like this video comment and subscribe to this channel and i'll definitely see you guys next time thank you for watching remember start today don't wait until tomorrow see you guys next time